God for this uh, word of God, expository word of God, pungent word of God, and powerful word of God. Thank God for the opportunity, for the privilege of undiluted word. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord for this great teaching that Father and the Lord has given us. Let's honor God and praise him for the wonderful message we have received today, the great value of our most precious possession, the great value of our most precious possession, our soul. It's a timely message. It's a wonderful message for members, for workers, for leaders, for invitees. We should evaluate ourselves and call upon God and start afresh. Value your soul. It has a great worth. Value your soul. It is eternal. And that's why we're going to pray this, this evening. Lord, give me grace to know the worth of my precious possession. Give me grace to note and know the worth of my precious possession. I don't want to lose my soul. Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and loses his own soul? What can a man give for the exchange of his soul? Nothing. All the things in the world, all the riches of the world, they are not equivalent to our soul. They cannot buy our soul. Only Christ that can redeem our soul and make us fit for the kingdom of God. Sinners, you are here. You must pray. You must surrender yourself to God because it's a moment of visitation. It's a moment of blessing. You can visit Calvary. You can tell the Lord, all my sins I bring to Calvary. I repent of them. Forgive me, and the Lord will forgive you. The Bible says, blessed are the undefiled in the way. Have you been defiled by immorality? Have you been defiled by pornography? God is ready. God is ready. Knowing fully well, your soul is eternal. If you are careless with your soul, you may spend the rest of eternity in hellfire. God forbid. Pray, Lord, forgive me. I surrender my life to you. Don't play. Don't joke. His blood is powerful to cleanse you from all sins and iniquity. Are you praying, brethren? Are you praying? Are you committing your life to the hand of God? We have only one life to live. And it soon be gone. And you give the account of your life, of your soul. Whether, it's, whether you toil with your soul or you play with your soul. It's going to be a grievous waste if you lost your soul to Satan. Pray to God that this only one life I will spend it for the glory of God. Christ died for you. He suffered for you on the cross of Calvary. Don't waste your life. Don't die as a sinner. For the redemption of their soul is precious to God. It's precious to Jesus. And that's why God sent his only begotten son to come and die on the cross of Calvary for you, for me, and for the whole world. Bible tells us, how shall we escape? How shall we escape? If we neglect so great a salvation, there's no other way. There's no other way. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's over to you to call upon the name of the Lord. Maybe you knew him before. You knew the Savior before. And you backslid. And you follow the world. And you have you dangerously Exchange your, your salvation for the things of the world, for pornography, for immorality, and pride. God is saying, come, I will receive you as you call upon him. Pray. Your sin is not too great for God to forgive you. If you renounce them, if you tell the Lord, Lord, I am sorry. David declared, I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. And God forgave him. And God forgave him. Do prayed, let me be weighed in an even balance that God may know my integrity. Man may judge you, you are righteous, you are religious, but let God know that you are just. He's the one that just justify, he will justify you. Pray to God. Ask God that God will help you to stand firm in the faith. If you are vacillating, he's ready to receive you back. And he will see you back in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's ask God 
Let's pray to God for grace to run the race and finish well. Let's ask God to, to, pray, to, let's pray to God to run the race. Those of us who are standing, the Bible says, he that thinks is standing, let him take heed, lest he fall. You pray to God, I don't want to fall. Give me grace to stand and to stand firm. Apostle Paul was very careful about this. He prayed. He wrote, but I keep under my body and I bring into subjection, lest that by any means, after I've preached to other people, I myself will be cast away. He was careful. He want to make, make it. He want to get to heaven. What about you and I? There must be decision. You must make a decision, a definite decision. Through prayer, ask God for the grace to obey him, to obey his command. The Bible tells us, Christ told the disciples that they should follow him. He said they should take their cross and follow him. How do you follow Christ? You deny yourself of the things of the world, of the sin of the world. Pray for grace to deny self. Pray for grace to disobey self. Self will be say, go, go and commit immorality, go and satisfy yourself in, with alcohol. Pray for the grace to disobey self. Pray for grace to discipline self. Pray for grace to dominate self. Power to dominate self. Bible says, sin shall not have dominion over you because you are a child of God. Sin must not reign in your body. Pray. And tell God that God will keep you stable in the faith. I want to be stable in the faith as I carry my cross. I want to be stable in the faith as I run the race. Men and women of old who started before us, they ran the race. They accomplished their journey. They safely reached their destination. And we can do the same. We can join the triumphant saints as we pray to God. Pray for strength and power not to compromise with the world. We are in a generation of compromise. We are in the era of compromise. Many people are compromising the world. Pray that you will not compromise the standard of the Bible. You will not compromise the word of righteousness. You will not compromise holiness. Corruption is in the world. Because of corruption, many people are compromising. Because of covetousness, many people are compromising. Carnality cowardice and carelessness. Many people are compromising. Tell the Lord, I am not going to compromise. I will not compromise. Tell the Lord, because Jesus Christ died for you on the cross, he suffered, and whichever, whatever you are suffering now, he is able to support you. Ask the Lord for grace to carry you through in his service, looking unto Jesus. Look unto him for support. Look unto him for help. He will help you. Look unto him. The author and the finish of our faith. Look unto him. The one only who can help you. Look unto him. And as you look unto him, you follow his step. You follow his step. Bible says, For whereunto were ye called? Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his step. Ask for grace. Ask for grace. Brethren, let's ask for grace to follow Christ's step against all contradictions. Don't compare yourself with anybody. You have a heaven to go. You have a, a, a life to live and a heaven to go. Tell the Lord, I will not compare myself with anybody. Pray. Tell him, you are breaking away from every evil thing that is going on in the world. You are breaking away from worthless companions. Like David of old, he said, I am a companion of all them that fear thee and that them that keep thy precept as we plan and pray to keep his preset, he himself will help you and support you, surrender your life to him, all to Jesus, I surrender all. I surrender all. Consecrate your life afresh. Give yourself to him. Submit yourself to him. He will help you. Let's pray together now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you very much for the word we have heard. Thank you for the prayer we have prayed. Thank you for the decision of faith. For those who are returning, of those who are giving their life to God, and those who are returning to Christ, Lord, we pray you will receive them and keep them in the faith till the end in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are standing, I pray the Lord will keep us standing. Standing firm, 
standing in righteousness, standing in holiness without denying the Lord. We don't allow sin to read. We don't allow self to read. Keep us in the faith to, to the end in the name of Jesus. We pray for our Father and the Lord, whom you have used to, to teach us, to elevate us, to instruct us. Father, we pray you will renew his strength, his power, his grace will be multiplied in the name of Jesus. And Lord, Lord in the journey of life will not be difficult for us. We we'll run the race which are finished strong in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for having answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen.